I just want to show you an update. First of all, don't don't judge my foot, okay? I know it's ugly. I just, I don't know. I wonder if some of you wonder what it's like. I know I need to put lotion on, but I just really have not been taking care of this foot, honestly. But, all right, here it is. I am about a month. It's really swollen right now, actually. <laughs> Damn. Um, but this is what, I don't know if it'll focus, but that's what the um, cut looks like. And as you can see, I got cut like from here and around my toe that way. Um, I can't really put a lot of pressure on it. Damn, it looks extra purple right now. I should probably ice it. But that is an update. And I mean, I can put like, I'm lightly on it, but definitely can't put all my weight on it. Maybe in about a week, a week and a half, I'll be able to. I have a doctor's appointment on Friday and I'll let you know what they say. But this is what it looks like. Okay, so I told you I'd give you all an update on how my doctor's appointment went and I just had it and it went really well. I am officially four months um, post-op, post-surgery. And he says that, you know, he's not worried that I'm not uh, on the on the younger side and that, you know, I should be fine. He did ask me to stand up and show him my foot. It was a virtual call, by the way. Um, and I showed him and he's like, yeah, I can see that you're a little scared to put more pressure on it. Basically what he said was stop being a baby and put pressure on it. Because um, as, I, as I mentioned to you, I am able to put pressure and I can sort of walk on it. I think I'm just a little scared. Um, but I will be using my boot a lot more and trying to deviate away from the crutches. But that, um, I, my doctor's just super cool. He's just awesome and I'm excited and yeah, he had me stand up and right now I do need to get a lot better at doing my exercises so that my toe doesn't stick up. Um, I already showed you my foot so I'm not embarrassed to show it to you anymore. <laughs> but um, so I'll, I'll show you what it, what it looks like right now. But um, so basically he had me stand up and show him my foot. And if you can see my toe, this big toe kind of sticks up a little bit. So what I need to do so that that doesn't happen is um, just do my workouts a lot more. So when I bend my toe, eh, I'll just, eh, I, should, I should just show you what my workout is. So essentially, I'd, I'd be using both hands, sorry, I'd be using both hands, but I'd lift this toe up or down, but I lift this toe up, leave it there for 10 seconds, you know, let it hurt a little bit. Then I go down and I massage this here. So an up and down motion. Um, but yeah, but basically, you know, you guys like, I can, I can like walk on it, you know? I can't put my full weight, but I'm so scared. I have no crutches right now. Yeah, don't mind my outfit. I'm being a baby. Okay, that's not as bad. And the boot protects me a lot. Um, wow, my family's just going to be so happy about this. Yay, I'm doing it, I'm walking on my own. <laughs> Okay, y'all. I can't, like, this is, this is exciting for me. Like, this, uh, you guys are experiencing my first couple of steps before, I mean, after surgery, like, on my own without crutches, no assistance. And yeah, things will take me, like, twice as long and probably five times as long. But this is cool. I might cry. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, another thing that they don't tell you about surgery is obviously because you're not actively walking and like working out if you work out if you have like an active life and even if you don't um my left thigh and like just my leg is a lot thicker than my right and my right is literally a chicken chicken leg and it kind of messes with my confidence a little bit but i try to just you know accepting your body for the way that it, it looks and it is after, like during recovery time is so important because you need to just it's like this I go back and forth right where I'm kind of like well I love my body because it, it 
has allowed me to do this. It's so strong that it's getting me through the recovery. And then I'm like, damn, I hate the way my body actually looks. And I'm like, ugh, you know, I just don't, I don't like it, I don't feel good. And then I kind of have to remind myself once, once again that it is getting me through recovery and this is just like time time will you know allow for this to, to heal and i'll get my left and my right leg to be the same width once more um but anyway i'm walking <laughs> well thank you all so much for watching that really short video i know that there's a lot of you that maybe didn't have bunion surgery but i feel like bunion surgery is so rare yet not rare like so many people have bunions and maybe are thinking about surgery so just i just want to share because i kind of would have wanted someone like me to have gotten a surgery and talked about it but anyways um as always remember to like comment share and subscribe i'd really truly appreciate it and i'll keep you all updated oh he's going to send me pictures of my x-rays and i saw the side by side foot he's going to send me a screenshot and um I will likely put it in this video if he sends it by then, but if not, I'll probably do another another quick short video too because I will be having another set of x-rays done four weeks from now and that will be around two months. Yeah, it'll be two months after surgery, so I'll let you know how that one goes. Okay, bye guys and girls and people of the world. <laughs> okay, bye.